Hey everybody, welcome to Richard's Roundup. Today, you know, I want to talk about a different solve. Um, you know, originally Michael had five different solves that he checked out. I mean, and, and I guess he, he did these pretty quickly, but um, on his first boots on the ground in June 2017, there were five specific areas that he looked at. Um, and a couple of them he felt had really good promise um, and then he quickly ruled them out. It was his first time to the mountains and so there were a lot of things that were a lot different you know when he was boots on the ground but anyways there was one solve that he had that showed some promise and that's the one that I want to pursue uh, today and and it actually has been fairly popular and so um, you know to begin with in the book, um, in the chapter, My War for Me, now, Forrest had said that if there's any chapter for you to read, you should read My War for Me. And, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you could debate, you know, the reasons why he said this. Um, I guess, you know, in this chapter, he talks a lot about uh, learning some things about, you know, I guess about life, you know, um, the idea in the end, you know, that he mentions is that, um, you know, and of course this is the chapter where he finds that, that secret, uh, waterfall, that secret, um, place that he makes a, a pact with that he'll return to. Um, it also talks a lot, you know, when he finally does return to that waterfall area, um, he stumbles across his crudely made gravestone marker. Um, but in the end, you know, what he found is, um, you know, he talks about, about their, you know, he asks the question, um, is there a deeper meaning to it all? Can we pour all of the non-physical thoughts and happenings into one cohesive boiling pot that will give us something useful? Could some subliminal gene perhaps be the answer to all that we cannot see but know is there? Um, and, you know, what, what he basically, you know, what he came down to, which I thought was, um, you know, was very uh, insightful, is that um, he came to understand that it really doesn't matter who we are if we are someone to ourselves. Um, and so there's kind of this, and, and it's not very clear on, like, how, um, how is that related to, uh, or how will that get me closer to the chest, um, I guess is the question. Um, you know, the idea that each one is as important, is as, is as important as the all. Um, you know, the idea that if the try is sincere, then I have succeeded. The idea that... Um, you know, that the realization that realization that hit him, if I cannot enrich those with whom I interact each day and cause them to be better from my having passed this view, then I've wasted my turn. Um, and then finally, if no one should ever think of me when I have passed this veil, it will be of no consequence, for I have finally found my way, and I'm at peace with it, all of it. So again, how does that all get us to the closer to the chest? Well, the thing about it is this, um, you know, Forrest has talked about uh, there being hints, he says at least two in the book, um, that will provide some guidance on the clues. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to locate the, the first clue, where begin at where warm water is halt. And so you know, when you look at that clue, um, you know, there's a lot of thoughts. I mean, and he mentions again, and I've said this before, or Michael has said it, that there are many, you know, hundreds of where warm waters halt, and most of them are north of Santa Fe. But the thing is, is, you know, it can't just be like a hot spring. Um, it can't just be any old type of geographic location, um, you know, and, and, and I think most of them are geographic type locations, but, 
but it has to be something that has meaning, you know. So, you know, so, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, is that, you know, maybe it's not a hot spring, you know, for instance, um, or if it is a hot spring, you know, it needs to be something so different or unique or have meaning to forest, you know, that it, it makes sense. Um, because I, I think in the end, he, he needs it all to make sense, um, whether that's a story that is threaded through the entire poem um, or, you know, something that is really related to his life. Um, I think that he needs it to make sense that when, when people finally find, you know, when someone finds the treasure and, you know, maybe he's long gone by then, but I think that they're going to need to, you know, say, oh, and I think he's actually forced to said this, is that people are going to say, oh, you know, I should have thought of that, or, oh, I, that makes sense. Um, and so, anyway, so the clue that I want to look at is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial um, in Angel Fire. And I've looked at this before, actually, and Michael is taking some pictures. I'll share them right here. But, um, but I want to take your attention to uh, page number 76. Um, After all of the bullets and rockets and bombs had finished flying through the trees and across the skies, there is nothing, nothing left for us but the memory of 58,266 Americans whose names have been etched chronologically by time of death on that shiny black war memorial which is constantly being washed clean by the tears of a million visitors. So now, you know, just recently I had decided that I wasn't going to pursue this, this solve um, because the tears aren't halting. They, they continue. Uh, the tears are continuing to be washed clean or, the, or the, the memorial is continuing to be washed clean by the tears of a million visitors. But I want to just take for a moment um, this again and, and say, okay, you know, if this, and I, I see that there are many people that look at the Vietnam War Memorial and Angel Fire as kind of the blaze because of this building, you know, this white, very interesting building, you know, that's there, maybe. Michael has searched the area, uh, including Eagle Nest Lake and there's a couple pictures in there of a, a chi of a, I think some kind of chipmunk or some it's kind of a cute picture, but um, but and he also has visited the the war memorial, um, but you know we need to look at it a little bit deeper. And so, anyways, let's let's take a look at Google Earth and see what we can see as far as a canyon down. So let's just take a quick look here at um, the Vietnam Veteran Memorial. Um, now, Michael did search this area back in 2017. This is really close to Eagle Nest Lake. There's actually uh, a runway close by here. Actually, right here is a runway. And um, a lot of people have felt that this was like the blaze because of this really interesting shaped building right here. But so if this is the where warm waters halt then and take it in the canyon down, then what you need to do then is come down this way. And if we're using that 10 point uh, or that 10 miles to be not far but too far to walk, it brings you to around this point. Again, what we're looking for is a home of brown. Um, and it can't be just any old home of brown. But um, now this point here, and again, you know, there's no direction um, as far as, you know, come down through the canyon down. You know, if there was a home of brown here that was unique, then yeah, that would be great. You know, then you could take it, take it, you know, through this canyon. But, um, but again, but there's not, you know, so, so then you're led to think, well, is it, is it 10 miles? You know, maybe it's not, you know, it could be less. Um, I guess Michael did find that there was a person back in Angel Fire named Brown. And so he did some, uh, try, he was trying to find this creek, I guess. They ran this way, but but anyway. So, what do you all think? Um, is this uh, you know something that's worth continuing to to search out, or should I move on to the next one? Because next week 
Monday. I do have one other uh, solve, uh, another where warm waters halt to uh, run by you. And uh, you know, time is getting to be uh, on short supply. So you let me know what you think, if I should pursue it or not. So that's it for this episode. I'm going to have next week's um, next week's video come out on Monday, and it's going to be a great day. It's Memorial Day, as you know, but I'm also going to be showing you my very secret recipe for a trail mix, you know, that I'm going to send out with Michael when he goes out in a couple weeks. And so, so be sure to tune in on Monday. Um, not only will I show you some great Texas barbecue that I'm going to be fixing up, but also a trail mix that just can't be beat. So you'll want to check that out. Anyways, you all have a great rest of the week, and I hope you're all doing well. And uh, you all take care now.